So did you finish building the other engine? Yeah, I did. Let's go home. We'll test run the engines tomorrow. What is this? Where am I? I don't know where you are. Well, who you are. Well, there is name plates on our boilers. Well, I think those are our names. <laughs> when can we get out of this crappy place? I'm ready to go. Well, maybe we could wait for someone to get us out of here. What's going on here? You, get us out of here. We've been in this piece of crap for 12 hours. Scholar, we be nice to him. We just met the guy. So how are you guys alive? So how are you guys even alive? <laughs> Engines aren't supposed to come to life. We don't know. We just woke up all of a sudden and were stuck in here for the past 12 hours. And we'd appreciate it greatly if you would get us out of here. Well, that is the reason I'm here in the first place, so come on. What happened? It's not my fault these rails are made out of crap. Hey, we put a lot of hard work into this. That doesn't make it good. Also, I was in your cabin, it, you were riding very roughly, and definitely wasn't the rails because we tested them with a hand car beforehand. This is test run. He had to pull Scarlowy back on track. We'll go back to the workshop to make sure you're not damaged, Scarlowy. Why can't we just go to our new home? Stop being impatient, Scarlowy. We'll do it later. <laughs> so, Renez, there's a few parts that are of place, so you'll have to be here for a few extra days, but Scarlowy, you can go straight to Sodor, and you'll be getting on boat 9112. Scarlowy was loaded into a boat. And the ride was very rough on the way to Sodor. Scarlowy was loaded onto a truck. Take me to the Scarlowy railing now. There isn't cause to be rude. I finally arrived. What is this? Oh, those are trucks. Trucks. What are trucks? And there's no engine to pull them. Oh, you're that engine, Scarlowy. What? Fine. I have to pull this crap. Come on, Scarlowy, stop complaining. I want coaches. We're going to steam you up, Scarlowy, and you're going to show the parts to the workmen. Can I pull coaches? No, certainly not. Scarlowy was furious. Scarlowy's fire would burn, and he was furious, so instead of steaming, he blew smoke at the men. The men didn't understand engines at all. But the men began insulting Scarlowy. Stupid, Piece of sh imbecile. The you should be scrapped. You're fired. Each day, they would try again, but instead of working for them, Scarlowy would just glare at them each and every time. Fine, if you want to be a cross patch, then be one. But we're not going to look at your ugly face all day. So they covered Scarlowy with a tarp. And we'll leave you here until you've become a better engine. And they did. Are you a better engine? Yes, sir. Because I've asked Mr. Bobby to come look after you. Mr. Bobby was one of the men that helped build Scarlowy. Come on, Scarlowy. We must help the workmen finish the line. Good job, Scarlowy. The line will be done before Renee's gets here. And Renez did arrive, and the line was finished on time. Renez would work carefully and without a fuss. He was less bouncy and excited than Scarlowy was. Let's play trucks on Scarlowy to make him cross. Yeah, that's a good idea. Shut up, you stupid truck. These trucks are stupid and crazy. They'll try to push you off the rails and they keep harassing me, and they're so annoying. Well, I'll show them. The trucks would soon learn not to mess with Renéas. They tried to make Renéas cross, but they couldn't. They tried to call him names and make fun of him, but it didn't work. So the trucks stopped causing trouble for him. I'm gonna get the inspector tomorrow. What do you think of that? You mind your bucks and bounces then, Scarlowy. The directors won't like that. Let her go. 
Ugh. Here you go. It's an engine. He's come to take us out. Beware of strange engines. Our guard has just come. So your engine runs pretty well, and this is a good railway. I'll be watching you. It's time for us to go back. Then Scarloy began bouncing. What the heck? The manager closed the regulator much too fast. He's playing tricks. Push him, girls. The coaches began to push Scarloy. The manager tried to grab onto something because he was falling down, but then he disappeared. Brakes, please, please. And Mr. Bobby slammed on the brakes. The manager was in a bush. I am not riding this bucking Bronco ever again. So he sat in Beatrice for the rest of the journey. The directors complained saying they had been shaken and blamed it on Scarloe. Renéas will take the director tomorrow, they ordered. You will stay out of sight in your shed. I'm sorry sir, I tried my best. I know Scarloe, it wasn't your fault, I'm sorry I got mad at you. We have to do what the directors say now, and I'll make it up to you later. Renéas, you've done well for a new engine. And, but there could be some improvement. But Scarloe, he just needs a new pair of wheels. We'll all be going now. Afterwards, Scarloe ran perfectly. Such a handsome engine. Six wheels and a cab. I am such an awesome engine. It's so cool that I have a cab and six wheels. You should get one like me and be up to date. No, thank you. You look like a snail with that house on your back. You don't go much faster, either. Slow, am I? Well, let me tell you who was late three times last week. It's no use talking. You're just an old stick in the mud. Poopy face. Small brain. Slow poke. You're too big for your buffers. Scarloe and Renes were so mad at each other that they wouldn't even look at each other. And this went on for days and days. One dark morning, Scarloe had to take the workman's train to the quarry. Why do you always pick me when it's raining? Well, you're the one with the cab, Scarloe. <sighs> oh, 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 Renéas, we have some bad news. Scarloe got stuck on a landslide next to the tunnel. We need your help. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm not going. Scarloe says I'm a stick in the mud. And he's too swanky, so he might as well just be a stick in the mud himself. Ah, uh, show a wheel, Renéas. What about Mr. Bobby and the quarry men? You can't leave them there, can you? No, I need to go. Soon they were able to clear up the line. Jimenez pushed Scarlet out of the way and took the quarryman to work. I'm sorry I was rude. Thank you for helping me. Oh, well, not at all. I guess I'm sticking the mud after all. Then, the cleaners arrived. But Scarlet and Renez laughed while they were there, and then laughed until they left. Ever since then, Scarlet and Renez were best friends.